In this video, we will do our coding exercise. So first of all, we will go inside the comment prompt and I will create a brand new Flutter project. So let's go inside the desktop. And in this one, I will create a Flutter, create, uh, it will be exercise or coding exercise, perfect. Coding exercise, that's good. So we, we have created our new Flutter project. Now, what we will do, I will close the terminal, I will open our older uh, project, and I will open, file open folder, the one that we have just created. So the coding exercise. Let's select this folder, and inside the library, we will go in the main. Perfect. Next step will be to start the emulator. So I press on F5 and then I say run, start without debugging, so F5. Good, we have our application. Next step, we will start to code what we have said on the previous video. So first I will move this on the side with Ctrl B and I will delete from this until the end to rewrite from scratch. Good. After, in this one, we will create a state less widget. So in this coding exercise, I, I highly suggest you to do it by yourself first. And then if you're not able to do it, or you want to uh, confirm what you have done, you can watch this video. But if you can do it by yourself first, it will be so much more valuable for you. So let's continue on this one and what I uh, will do is I will be a little bit faster because I have explained you every step how to do it in the previous video. So we will go uh, kind of fast. So let's go. We will change the class name. I will press uh, Control D to change both of them at the same time. And we'll call it my app. I will remove the key because I will not use it. And then the uh, container, I will replace it with the material app, this one. Inside we have the home argument and in the home argument we can put the scaffold widget. This scaffold widget will take a app bar with an app bar widget. We will format document and then the app bar widget will take inside the title. And this title will take a text widget with quotation mark and we will say flutter coding exer exercise. Good. Format document once again. And then what we want right now is create a bottom navigation bar with the icon button inside. So after the app bar, we can do the bottom navigation bar argument with the bottom navigation or bottom app bar widget. And inside this one, we can add the child and the child will be the icon button. Here we go. In this icon button, we have an icon and this icon will take an icon widget like this one. And this icon widget will take the icon data and to show the icon data, it's icons.home by example. We can select any icon data. And as you can see, we see icon data. We take this one, I will format document, I will put a comma right here to format better the document. And then on the on press, I will put an empty function first. Inside this one, I will put a print function that will print a uh, preset by example. I will put the semicolon format document. And then we have a button that we can press to show it on the debug console. Okay, next step is to change the bottom navigation bar color. So we go inside bottom app bar. There is an argument called color. We take this one and we need to put a colors dot, uh, the color you want. So we will take blue. Good. And as I told you uh, in the previous video, if you were a little bit willing to learn a little bit more by yourself, you could have tried to find how to put the title in the middle and you could have found how to put the icon white, by example, or another color. So right now I will show you how to do that. But first of all, try by yourself. And this is the best way to learn. 
Okay, so for the title, the title is inside the app bar widget. So inside this one, we will put an argument called the center title. And then I will say true because this one is a Boolean, so true or false variable. So we will say uh, true because we want the text to be in the center. And then we can change the icon uh, color. So let's go inside the icon. As you can see, we have the icon widget. And inside this one, you can change, for example, with the argument color, colors.white. Here we go. So we have the color of the button change. So that's it for this video. And see you on the next one. Bye.